Hi everyone! So I'm going to do like my most used items. A lot of people do their monthly favorites, but I don't really switch up enough I think to have new ones every month. So this is going to be like my most used products so far of the year. <laughs> so like the last four months. Um, some of them you will have seen in past videos. <laughs> Anyways, this is something I use every day that I absolutely love. I highly recommend everyone go out and get them as soon as you can. It is the Tangle Teaser. It is wonderful for not snagging your hair. It just goes straight through, even when it's wet, which is hard to believe, I think. But it does. I. It's a great, great, great tool. And my other non-makeup item that um, I have used a lot of, as you can tell, I'm almost out of it. I've already repurchased for when I do run out of it. It is the Ultra Repair Cream by the First Aid Beauty, or Fab, company. And it doesn't really have a strong scent, which I like. It's pretty thick and creamy, but... You, I like that you can use it and then put your favorite perfume or whatever scented anything on. And it won't conflict with it. And it's just a nice... And it just leaves... It's a nice scent, light scent. But it leaves your skin feeling amazing. So, now on to makeup. Um, I've been using these. The uh, Baby Lips by Maybelline quite a bit. My lips are always so dry. And this one is the color, this is going to be fun for me to read. <laughs> it's the, would help if it's not upside down, cherry me. <laughs> All that to tell you that. And this is what it looks like. And it is buildable. It's fairly sheer, but you can build it up. Very pretty. This one I really like the color of, too. Very, very moisturizing. Really, really nice. And also on that note for lips, I love the Urban Decay 24-7 lip liners. I don't have many of them because I haven't. I probably just discovered them, I think, earlier this year and or started using them. But they are so creamy, and this one is in the shade Paranoid. It's a very pretty nude. As you can see, it's so creamy. Which is great for lining the whole lip to help your lip color stay. And it's not like you're ripping your lips when you're trying to line them. It's really nice. And my most used eyeshadow as of, I don't know, probably the past couple months is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour tw Infallible in this shade I use almost every day this is Endless Pearl and it's funny because when I bought this I thought it had a little sheen to it but it's completely matte and I don't use in general I don't use a lot of matte shades but this has ended up being the color that I and the shade that I end up wearing every day it's right here it's hard to see but it's great for, which is what I have on, under the brow. And sometimes if I'm in a hurry and just doing quick makeup, I do my whole eyelid and just an eyeliner and I'm done. And it just, even if I do nothing else, no contouring on my eye, nothing, shading, anything. If I just use this, my whole eye looks area, the lid and everything, looks so much brighter. So, and this was, again, in the color Endless Pearl. It. and it does last all day it's amazing and of course I know you've seen me talk about these before are the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, eyeliners the pencils I have I keep collecting the colors but they're just amazing and um, I just one of the reasons I started collecting them was because I noticed they have so many other color options than a lot of other lines out there so uh, yes. I wear these pretty much every day. <laughs> Love them. And, let's see, oh, and my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. 
I don't do my eyebrows every day, but when I do them, this is all I use. It's the Elf Eye Rocket. And I believe this is the shade medium. Sorry, I had to check. It's really tiny printing. So it's medium. And I also like now onto concealer type products, or this is my favorite concealer. You can see I've hit pan on the one I use all the time. I use these sometimes. The same kind of that looks kind of gross. Sorry about that. And this is the Sonia Kushik Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. And I do believe this is in light. It looks like it says seven, whatever. Maybe that's it, I don't know. But it's great for under the eyes. It's thick. It doesn't crease. It's it's I love it. And I also this is amazing for dark circles. And this is the Pixie Brightening Peach, which it like makes them disappear. It's great. But I usually put this on and then kind of let it um warm up and pat it out a little bit and then put my concealer on over it. Uh, sometimes I'll do just this but most of the time I'll put concealer over it. And then the blush that I tend to reach for the most is this Sugar Balm by Benefit. It's got the four different colors which I just swirl them all together and I go. And a lot of times I don't do any other contouring, highlighting, anything and this has a sheen to it that's nice. The scent of it is nice. Uh, it stays all day. Really, a really nice product. And then my favorite powder, um, as of right now, <laughs> face powder, and you can see I've hit pan, is the MAC Select Sheer Pressed. And this is in NW15 which I'll probably need to go get a darker color soon but it I usually sometimes I use this but and I just will pat it on like this rather so I don't have a layer of it and it's too heavy just kind of pat it a little bit and it just kind of leaves it just gives that complete finish to your makeup so those were my I guess we'll say every few months <laughs> Uh, most used items, favorites, whatever you want to call it. So let me know if you guys use any of these and what you think of them. Um, and yeah, thanks. I hope... Thanks. <laughs>